Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Underrail. Well, I've been taking in some of the advice from my buddies on YouTube with this game, and one of the things was that this purple jackknife, um, I just kind of looked at it as it has a low value, and it's got some okay damage to it, but then someone wisely pointed out that at the bottom of the items description window here it says equip traps increased by seven and equip lock picking increased by seven so this is amazing for boosting my lock picking uh, and just having for that reason alone so I'm going to put that there another thing that my buddy Jean-Luc was pointing out was that I got premeditation and I had not been using it. Um, and so I'm going to slot this down here on my um, action buttons. And I think what I'll do is I'll just put it right here instead of burst because I don't ever burst. Um, and then have that happen. Terrific. I probably don't need this attack with the weapon, given the fact that I have these here, but I might mess around with it. And I also could probably just use my abilities from the Quick Invoker and don't even need to have them on the, the bar, but I'm not sure about that. All right, so we're in the business of potentially retrieving Cole Meyer's Lucky Knife. If we want to, which is a little breaking and entering. Um, and then additionally, we're looking for this Armadillo class drill motor. We are up here on Junkyard Depot B. And we'd like to head to Depot A, where the dangerous stuff is, I suppose. Uh, so, Eddie, what are you on about? You see a short, jittery man with messy hair and stained goggles, both of which he occasionally adjusts, only to find a second later that he's not happy with the new arrangement. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? He says and puts down his copper mug. Um, I need to get into the old junkyard. No dice. Scrapper's only zone, Jack. What are you looking for there, anyway? I'm going to be just up front, some drill parts. Hmm, we don't usually allow outsiders in there, but I guess I might be able to let you slip by. That is, if you're willing to do me a favor first. Isn't that always the way of it? It's always the... You scratch my back. I'm scratching everybody's back, that's fine. What kind of favor? I need you to retrieve something from an associate of mine. Hmm, I need to kill somebody, apparently. Let's discuss this somewhere more private. Follow him. Oh, look at all those Psy Shrooms. This is my kind of place. I like how it's just around the corner. Okay, here's what you gotta do. Go to the slums, past the camping area, into a back alley to the north. There's a gambling house. Yes, I know that. Look for a guy named Elwood and get his key card off him. I have no idea how you do it, though. Avoid fighting him if you can, and if you absolutely must kill him for it, make sure no one sees you. Oh, boy. If other scrappers see you attacking him, the whole deal is off, and I'll have nothing to do with you, understand? Um, all right. That's the spirit. Let me know when you get the key card. All right, so I need to get the key card. Man, I want those mine shrooms. Oh, the places I could go with those. All right, so we need to go to the casino, which is over here. Um, I'm just going to add a custom note that says... Casino. And then, there we go. I put my little note in there. And it always says casino. I need to be adding custom notes all over the place. I've been kind of like neglectful of that. But it would really help me remember what is where. Um, Alright. And so even for this, for example, I can just put down, you know. Jittery Eddie. And then... This is where Jitty Re Eddie lives, and so we know. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and just run down here. How fast are we moving? Not fast enough. There we go.
And then just in true under rail spirit, I'm going to save it because you never know. I don't, I have no conversational skills. So there's probably no way that I can deal with this guy except murder. So, you know, unless some of my psi abilities can just get people to do what I want. Like I have, you know, uh, let me see. Frighten, Overload. I don't have the abilities yet to just completely, you know, Professor X somebody's mind, but maybe we can get there. I paid that guy so they won't attack me on sight as I slip through here. Alright, here's the casino. They'll probably want me to de-equip my weapon, but... Let's just see what happens. Uh, let's use the intercom. Decided to pay the fee? Yeah, here's the Jarens. Welcome aboard. I'm in. Here we go. Alright. So hopefully this person is just like... In a, in a room of their own. Quiet like. You know what I mean? Let's see what's back here. Gambler, shelves, gambler. Let's try to find the one that I need. Elwood. Was that the person? Yep, there he is. Alright, so I'm going to go in here. And all I need to do is just kind of close the curtain. And then... Wait, where did Elwood go? Where'd you go, Elwood? Did you go around the corner? You were here. What has happened, Elwood? Did you run away? Well, maybe that's for the best. If you're in a place where the guards aren't. Alright. Oh, boy. Okay, you can't go in there. Touche. Let me save it a little closer. I should have looked at my mouse cursor to know if it was red or not. I was just walking around. But that might have been one of those things where it didn't matter. It wasn't going to turn red. It was just like, you have to know that that area is off limits. And that's fine. Some areas are off limits, right? All right. Let me try to save it again. So that this time when I die, everything's better. All right. I'm going to slow down the uh, movement a little bit, like, to here. It's a little bit too insane for this these tight quarters. Okay. Now, I know I saw Elwood around here last time. That arcade machine is really tempting. There he is. Hey, Elwood. All right, I'm going to save it right before Elwood. And see what happens. I know I can't kill him, but I, I have to do him quietly. Uh, the man gives you a puzzled look. What do you want? Um, hey, are you Elwood? Uh, someone wants to see you outside. Tell him I'm busy. She says it's really important that you should see her straight away. She's waiting by that green tank near the side entrance. Hey, leave me alone, will you? I'm busy here. Fine, I'll leave you to it. He gives you a thumbs up and returns to what he was doing. Uh-oh. Well, let's try it again. Um, you again? What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I need a key card to your place. Sorry, Jack. I don't swing that way. I wasn't asking. Give me the card or I'll blow your brains out. You're lost. Um, you again? What do you want? How are the dice treating you? Mind your own business. Who are you? Mr. Get Lost. Okay. Um... 
I need the key card. I wasn't asking. You messing with me? You're messing with the wrong scrapper. He reaches for his gun. Fight. All right. Um. No one can outrun bullets. Well, you're probably right about that. Now, this guy is aggroed, but is he aggroed against me? Am I allowed to defend myself? You know, would be a question. I think, based on my character's skills, I don't think I can actually do this quest. Because I can't get him somewhere where there's no guards or cameras. You know what I mean? Um, so I need to find another way into the old junkyard, and this isn't it. Like, I appreciate the opportunity, but wasn't, um, didn't Kohlmeyer know how to help me get to the old junkyard if I got him his knife? So, where does, where's this dude's knife at? Maybe I can try this one. From his former house in the east part of the residential area and return it to the slums. All right. So... I don't know which part of the residential area... It is this part. Let's look around. Let's crank up the speed. Yeah, this looks like a residential area, right? Um, there's the fixer. All these... I can't get into any of these places, though, because... Um, they're all locked. Maybe I can go in here and nobody will be upset. I mean, apparently this door is not... Lockpicking 85. Didn't he say there was some way to slip through... thought he did anyway like there was some loose board or something like that uh. let me look boy it's really really tough around here Here he is. Let me ask this guy again. Where, where is it that you want me to do this? Um, still working on it. He nods. Darn. All right. Well, this might not be it then. If this is like, if Kohlmeyer is here, then maybe this is it. East part of the residential area. I mean, there's a tent. Cave hoppers, barrels. Here's a house I can get into. Um, oh no, I can't. I'd have to get through that. Well, that's looking scary. Um, here's a footlocker that's guarded by some fine gentlemen. Um, this guy's just standing by a barrel fire with a hammer. He looks like the kind of guy you can just easily take out. Alright, is this where the loose board is or whatever? Is this even the east part of the residential section? Alright, I don't know. I'm going to save it. See if I can open any of these doors without anybody noticing me. Hacking, that's no good. Okay, that was everybody noticing me. That doesn't work. Alright, um... Hmm. Let me see over here. Is there anything down here? Hmm...
Well, the red eye obviously means they have no idea where I am. It means they all know where I am. Okay. Well, then let's just forget about that. Oh, armadillo. We'll get you. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Come on. I wonder if I, like, just check out these caves if I can get there on my own. And just completely bypass them. I mean, probably not, but wouldn't it be nice? Maybe this is the residential zone. Oh my god, this is the docks. This area is armed to the teeth. That guy sees me right away. Lock picking 60. What is my lock picking? 39. Well, that's not going to do, is it? Oh, that bad guy's there. Alright. You know what, though? Maybe what he meant when he said residential zone, though was like the place right when you come in where everybody's living and just in the eastern portion of that so what here maybe This is kind of where I was, but, um, and he's just up here. I wish I could get him to tell me about it again, but it doesn't look like he wants to talk about it anymore. Don't try anything funky. Well, I was going to try a lot of things that were funky. Um... Look, corn man, I need to talk to you again. Tell me about yourself. Um, you told me about the house. Um, well, my life was one that had quite a few ups and downs. I'd rather not go into too many details, but I had a great wife, a good job, decent kids, and a life I couldn't complain about. First I lost my wife, then my job, then my kids left, then I started complaining about life. He smiles. What happened? I said I wouldn't want to get into too many details. Some of the things were my fault, some were bad luck. In the end, I ended up in junkyard. Then after that, in an even worse part of the junkyard, I guess grounds next he laughs well to be honest at least these united station bozos are helping out a bit um where does the knife fit in somewhere in between just having it help me through some of the downs in my life that's all you need to know um look can i help you out do you need any food we're good the united station folks help us with that i just like the knife that's all i want um Life's tough. I'll be going now, old-timer. He nods. Yeah, so I can't... get him to regale too many more details about where the knife might be. I guess I could go back and, like, look at the old text logs. I mean, I'm assuming he means, like, right around here, but maybe there's... Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a better place of the junkyard where it is there's no houses here this isn't really a residential area this is like the marketplace or whatever maybe though maybe it is a house oh, I have lock picking all right let me save it 
Let me pick this lock right here. Alright, lock disabled. Let's just walk away and then walk in and then close the door. Alright, what is in here? Shelves. Well, there is an oddity in here. Um, I'll take that. Or, let's see. But that's it? Just an, an oddity? Well, I mean, an oddity is good. I'm not going to complain too much. Maybe... Let me look up here. Um, well, I mean, yeah, there's people living here. It could be here. Alright, let's check around. Let's look around. Everyone here is really angry. Okay. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this house right here. I'm going to save it. I'm going in. It's Gort. Here's Gort, everybody. Welcome to Depot B, stranger. Looking for some explosives, ammo, or just something random? Got you covered. Um, I need an armadillo-class drill rotor circuit board. Well, you can look, but I'm pretty sure I don't have that. It's not that common. So we don't go for its parts when scavenging the old junkyard. What's the old junkyard? Depot A. It's right through the gate over there in the back. We keep it under lock because there are some nasty creatures. Can I go in? I doubt it. You can ask Eddie. Uh-oh. I already asked Eddie, but he's being mean about it. Catch you later. He wants me to kill somebody. An associate. And um, I'm not able to do that. Well, what's over here? Uh, these are just a bunch of fishers. I can't take from that footlocker at all. I wish he had some advice about how to deal with this guy for me. It would be nice. Eddie. Tell me about the scrappers. That's my gang. We extract the valuable stuff from the old junkyard and sell it all over the south. The foundry and core city are our biggest customers. We're also in the business of killing people who try to muscle in on our turf, so don't even think about it. I'll be going now. That's scary. Um. Hey, look in the dumpster. There's some trash. Uh, what about in this barrel? Do you mind if I look in here? Nope. Don't want that. Boy, I wish I could sneak around your property. You sure you wouldn't... Ah, I can't even get through there. I wonder where that comes in. Holy smokes. Alright. Piss off. Oh, you kind gentleman. Hmm. Well, it's not going too well for me here. I'm not finding his house. I don't even know if the knife will get me where I need to go. I can't get that guy outside of the casino I, without murdering him in there in front of the guards. So that doesn't seem like a good option. Um, uh, he's got the business proposal. It's like shady as all get out. Uh, honestly, I think at this point, Something I might really consider is just trying my luck 
in the caves and seeing if there's a way to connect to the old junkyard or depot A or whatever you want to call it a different a different way. Like if I go up here, you know, is there is there any hope for me? So we'll go ahead and look into that in the next episode. I've got my jackknife, I've got my premeditation. I found an oddity on a shelf, and I got some jobs that I'm not quite up to snuff for. So we'll see if I can make my own path. And if not, I'll go back and look for the knife or uh, find another solution for these armadillo drill parts. All right, everybody. Hope you have an excellent evening or day. Thanks for watching. I'll check you in the next episode of Let's Play Underrail. Take care.